come back with Technics turntable in 2016. We didn't um, deliberately start with a DJ turntable. Everything we wanted uh, for our comeback was uh, driving the quality of a direct drive turntable in a classical hi-fi sense to the top level. So this was the reason we didn't start with the DJ turntable. We left the shape and the outside um, appearance of the turntable pretty similar to the former um, 1200, 1210 models, but almost every part of these new turntables were newly developed from the scratch. Then, uh, because uh, the, the first model we came back with, the 1200G AE, 1200G was quite high priced, uh, we were asked to downsize it in order to enable this turntable being bought by broader customerships and this was the 1200 GR it was priced or it, it is priced at um, 1500 euros it comes with a stripped down technology of the 1200 G um, simpler motor nevertheless also iron coreless aluminium tone arm two layer platter two layer chassis which is more economic than the more expensive G model uh, nevertheless not reaching a price level for the masses. So our final conclusion was, in order to get even more attractive price ranges to change the platform, even downsize the platform still a little bit, move the production to Malaysia and um, create a completely new platform that enables us to get the price point for a DJ turntable down to 899 or for a, I call it the civil version for the 1500C model at a thousand euros, including a high quality pickup cartridge, a high quality phono equalization, and a very reliable and high quality auto tone arm lift at the end of the vinyl record. So our main turntable uh, manufacturing is, uh, is taking place in, in Japan and that's basically for the fact because we have had all turntable manufacturing so far in Japan, so all production lines have been taking place in Japan. We had uh, specialist workers, we had um, absolute uh, specialist mechanics that were able to handle all the complex um, manufacturing as, and assembling processes of tone arms, of turntable platters, of motor parts, which is quite uh, a complex um, field. However, in order to uh, get the cost side uh, handled a little bit more economically, we're for the models 1500C and 1210MK7 using our new production lines in Malaysia. Now, some people might know Panasonic has huge um, factories and production lines in Malaysia. The reason being is that um, labor cost in Malaysia is definitely way underneath the level of Japan. So in order to make production and the cost side more economic, we're using these production lines in Malaysia. Uh, but also I'd like to mention that it needed to set up a complete new production line there because turntable manufacturing uh, so far we didn't have in Malaysia. In terms of manufacturing quality, uh, be sure that all our technicians, uh, all our engineers and all our workers there uh, have been trained uh, due to the same super high standards that uh, the workers um, perform uh, in, in Japan. Well, I think uh, the Technics turntable is, first of all, synonymous with direct drive. Um, most other manufacturers of turntables, uh, no matter if it's European or uh, Asian um, manufacturing, they are using um, belt drive systems because it's it's cheaper, it's more economic to produce. Uh, to handle direct drives, actually, uh, and only a few manufacturers produce direct drive uh, motors, um, requires very, very deep knowledge about drive technology. And one of the most characteristic um, items for 
the Technics direct drive motor is that it's iron coreless. This is very important uh, because it's directly related to the sound quality. Because there's no cogging in a direct drive motor without iron core, rotational stability and distortion reach a really premium level, which is neither possible with direct drive nor with a direct drive with, um, with an iron core built inside. So the uh, technology of handling the perfect direct drive motor uh, is the key behind. And I think this is something really special and characteristic uh, for Technics. Yes, besides turntables, we've been asked to um, produce other products that are related to, um, to the DJ, I call it work field. Um, first of all, mixing consoles. Um, I'm I'm sorry to say, at the moment, there is no plan to revitalize the mixing console business. Um, what we offer is uh, we have a new DJ headphone um, based on um, a former long-year product. Uh, in this field, it's called um, DJ 1200, and it's um, optimized for the special requirements um, of DJs. It's got a 270 degree swivel mechanism for one ear monitoring. It's got a new diaphragm that um, can bear heavy loads like uh, 2.5 watts max, which is uh, huge for a headphone. Uh, but it also has uh, characteristic features, very useful for the DJ, like a spiral cable, uh, like a, a lockable, um, uh, lockable cable connection on the earpad, etc., etc. So it's a really DJ optimized um, uh, headphone. Uh, on top, it's got a lovely sound. Button.